The fear of technology, one, is just knowing it. You know, man, I don't know this stuff. I'm kind of scared with it. Another fear is the money side. You know, I'm going to invest all this money into this stuff, and, you know, what if it doesn't work for me, or what if it, what if I can't figure it out, you know? But, I mean, my biggest fear was, what if I wake up in five years or ten years and, and I don't exist anymore, I got left behind, or, you know, the guy down the street's already doing this or has been doing it for a while. We attended last year's owner's conference, technology conference that you had, and I was just blown away by it. You guys introduced so many new things to us, and it just it put a spark in us and, and in, in my staff. I brought my staff with us. So both me as an owner and my staff getting on board and on the same page, we came back and we decided who we were and what changes we wanted to make. Did these changes happen overnight? No. It took us a year to really make a lot of changes. It even included moving our store. We moved our store back in February. When we moved our store, we were challenged with a couple of different things. One is we wanted to embrace technology, kind of a futuristic feeling store, but we were also kind of stuck with our showcases. I was on a limited budget. I didn't have the leisure to have all new showcases built and made. And so, you know, we just kind of started thinking about different things. And so, when you walk in our store, you're introduced to a really nice water feature. The water is just very calming. It's highly commented on by our customers. It's a kid magnet. The kids love to play in it. We did the stained concrete on the floors, got rid of wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. We just got some large area rugs. I wanted them to feel like they were walking into my living room, just feeling real comfortable so that they felt at home. Because if I can get them comfortable, you know, they tell me that men fear two stores the most. The first is a lingerie store, and the second is a jewelry store. And so how can I break down that fear so that when they walk in, they feel comfortable? So we got some coffee to offer them. We got some soft drinks and water to offer them to just make them feel at home. We started looking at how could we create a custom designing area or a custom design bar as I call it. I love glass and so I worked with a glass guy and we came up with a couple ideas and so we've incorporated a big glass countertop on it and it's all open format so we can put the prototypes under there so people can touch and feel. We've also incorporated the Ringo bar very close to the front door so that when they walk in the door that they can grab and touch and feel and start playing with it. They can't not stop and play with it. One of the other things we did is we took our showcases and we raised them all up six inches. As I would observe customers they always had to bend over to look at the jewelry and I thought we need to get that up closer to them and so we just Took the tops off, put a two by six underneath there, dressed it out a little bit of molding, a little bit of paint, and created a whole new look. We took and changed the look of all of our mirrors and all of our picture frames just with some paint. The other thing we created was another open showcase, kind of mixed the idea of the Ringo bar with an open showcase format and all glass, very inviting, very open and feeling. We're using Countersketch and we have it up here on our screen and it is one of the coolest things because we also use software called Matrix. With Matrix, you start out with a blank palette and about 400 tools. The nice thing I like about Countersketch is you have a starting point inventory and instead of having 400 tools to confuse your sales staff, you've only got about 10 or 15 tools that they have to worry about. But yet they can take a piece of inventory and it now becomes a hundred different ideas or a hundred different options just by changing the center stone size or the height 
or how wide the shank is. Most jewelers or anyone in that, you know, 50 plus set, I think of my parents, for example, you know, anyone's probably got a child or a niece or a nephew, a friend of the family who has an iPod, has an iPhone, has the technology already in their home. I just recently taught my mom how to webcam, you know, use our computers and have a conversation. And yes, you know, they're hesitant, they're resistant, only because they're not used to it. You know, it's just about teaching them, showing them three steps. And once they see how easy it is, now my mom's Facebooking me, she's posting photos where two months ago even, she had no idea how to use the technology. So I definitely think it translates for jewelers as well. You've got counter sketch. It's intuitive. I've learned it about a week ago, and look how quickly I'm getting around it today. You know, you just go to the different tools, the different files, uh, you can render it in just a matter of moments, and it's really easy to use. Self-explanatory, if you just take the time. You don't need a manual, you don't need a user's manual to actually teach you how to use it. You just sit down and you play around, and after five minutes, you've picked it up. You can get an instant price quote on it, and so you can work live with your customer, and in 10 or 15 minutes, create something together that's really cool. One of the other things that we do is we may start here, but then we set up an appointment because it's amazing. Customers want an appointment with you. And if you can get them to come back for a small appointment, then you can put together maybe five ideas, get them all put together in your little job bag or profile bag, print out a couple rendered pictures, and then just really wow them when they walk in the door and get the sale. I mean, it is just, it's just cool stuff. The young kids coming in to buy an engagement ring, they're used to touch and feel. They're used to going into an Apple store and playing with everything. And so we started looking at, in our industry, what could we do? And the first thing I bought was an iTouch. Just a small little device put a lot of pictures and images on there of some of our prototypes, put some different images of our CAD work that we do, just to start showing customers examples of what we can do. Then with the advent of the iPad, we took all of the images from CounterSketch and all the images from the prototypes and put those on there so that we can uh, again, be side by side with our customer and, and use that as an introduction to prototypes and to counter sketch and, and the different things that are available to us today. What's great about our technology though is with the iPad we're able to you know, show them several different pictures. They can scan through it, take some time, sit down, look at it themselves. If they see something they like, we can go over to the counter sketch and design a piece that's completely for them that fits every piece of their personality. Again, one of the challenges we're facing right now with high gold prices is how can I have a big look in my store? Um, how can I have a lot of product and a lot of choices for my customer without breaking the bank? Installers come up with this prototype idea that's just phenomenal. And they've drastically improved their bridal selection. Now it's gorgeous. They've done a phenomenal job. They've jumped on board and taken it to that next level and they have just cutting edge styling now on their bridal and they've got it all in prototype for you and so you can get it in let the customer try it on and a lot of times customers they, they may not even know that they're trying on a prototype they just they're trying on different styles I used to feel like I was being beat by my competition by selection but now with the prototypes I've got a huge selection for them and not just in bridal but in diamond fashion and color and family jewelry just a variety of different things I love the bracelets and the earrings that you have and some of the other cool things that are out there for us to work with and it's just it's just been a huge help for us I was very hesitant to use prototypes to have them in the store one of my biggest hurdles was just that they just looked antiquated. You know, they were basic wedding band styles, basic anniversary band styles that I've seen over and over again. One of the great things that Stellar has done though is provide really current, beautiful styles. Great pieces that look modern, that have a great look to them. 
it really makes my job so much easier to be proud of them and want to show them and think of it more as an asset to my existing inventory rather than you know kind of the ugly stepchild that used to keep underneath the case. now we have them out, you know the customers want to touch and play with them. i think that's the biggest benefit of prototypes is you have all this inventory. you have the look of millions of dollars in it you know with a minimal investment. the nice thing about the, the stellar showcase is that we don't have to feel like we have to hide something from our customer. in the past we would have to be behind the the counter and we would have to figure out what our cost is and then do our little markups and and then present the customer with a price and you know and they're like thinking what is he doing behind the counter you know now we can be either with the ipad we can take that and work side by side with the customer or with the big screen tv and tied to the computer and the internet we can work live with them right before their eyes and we can get live pricing we can feel comfortable about what we're showing them the presentation is very top-notch both the jewelers kiosk and stellar showcase i really like stellar showcase because the girls they can just go on there and, and figure up a price customize it however they want it right before the customer and do an instant quote for them instead of having to get on the phone or figure out how to price that out or whatever they're empowered to give them the customer the right price with the loose diamonds you've got shape selection you've got just a variety of different ways you can really narrow it down and then just give the customer a really nice selection of different stones that you can work with the red box diamonds are great they just show up and you get to show them to the customer i like the trade-up policy that's there with it just being able to trade it up down the road and that's a, always been a good helpful selling point for us on that Just stop talking about it and stop complaining that gold's at 1200. Stop complaining that you've got the internet competition. It ain't going to go away. It's not going to go away. You need to just figure out how do I embrace it and how do I work with it. You know, one of the, the best ways is through technology. I mean, it's just, it's amazing stuff. It's exciting stuff. I mean, that's. That's what I love about it. I mean, it just challenges me every day. I'm learning something new every day. It's invigorating. I mean, it's just, it's fun.